Hey yo guys, it's your favorite Kage, Enigma Kage, bringing you yet another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Enigma. I'm an anime gaming content creator amongst many things. Hope you stick around, enjoy the rest of the content, hey, maybe you'll subscribe today. So guys, I know this is super left field from what I normally bring to the table, but I'm trying something different today. In this video, we are talking about the upcoming kart racer known as Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2 Grand Prix. The reason I decided to make a video on this title is just blamed on nostalgia. Growing up in the 90s, you were either into Nicktoons or Cartoon Network, and Disney was pretty much neutral back then. In 2000, my parents got me Nicktoons Racing for PC, and at that time, it wasn't on any console, so you was either stuck playing the Game Boy Color version, or you had the PC version. That game consists of 13 racers being Patrick, Spongebob, Plankton, Ren, Ickes, from Our Real Monsters, Catdog, Tommy, Angelica, Eliza Thornberry, Darwin, Norb and Daggett from the Angry Beavers, Arnold and Helga. At that time, Spongebob was the newest series to join the Nick family. The graphics was good for an early PC game, but it was something to play that mirrored Mario Kart 64. It was fun, wacky, and easy to learn, but it gave us an all-star Nickelodeon feel that we haven't experienced before. There wasn't much to complain about. All of Nickelodeon heavy heaters were placed on the roster, the stages were cool, and it was an alternative to Nintendo All-Star type racers. After several years of re-releasing Nicktoons Racing for different consoles and platforms, with the last being an arcade version in 2003, a sequel was put into production. Nicktoons Winners Cup Racing was released for PC in February 2006. In 2008, a third Nicktoons Racing game was put into production and was released in 2009 as Nicktoons Nitro for Arcade. In July 2018, Nickelodeon Kart Racers was announced as the fourth game in the Nicktoons Racing series. So we fast forward 18 years from the original and we are met with Nickelodeon Kart Racers. Ugh, this title has so much potential, but of course a lackluster roster can kill any all-star game in existence. Hey, just ask Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite how it's doing nowadays. Nickelodeon Kart Racers suffered from a crappy roster and not having the ability to play online multiplayer. In my opinion, any 21st century racing game should be played online, not just local play. I should be able to have the ability to play with my friends no matter how terribly it runs. I'm just being honest. Nintendo Life gave the game 3 out of 10 stars, criticizing it for its lack of voice acting and the roster size, which only consists of 2 to 4 characters from 4 different cartoons, while lacking characters from other popular series such as The Fairly Odd Parents, The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron, Boy Genius, Invader Zim, Avatar The Last Airbender, and The Loud House. To put it in comparison with its originator, it has one less character and only 4 series. The battle mode was a hot mess and they completely dropped the ball with this title. If you take the game for what it's worth, it's tons of fun with friends, but it stops right there. Summer of Games 2020 has announced Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2. This title promises 30 playable characters and 70 pit crew members to choose from, from various Nickelodeon characters. Based on Target.com listing, they have it at 28 tracks and 2 arenas. Tens of thousands of different all-star character combinations, customizable carts and power-ups, and of course, 8-man online multiplayer. Game Mill Entertainment learned their lesson from their 2018 title, and this crossover cast is pretty good for what it's worth. 11 series plus Jojo Siwa. I feel like this game, if done correctly, will catch the attention of at least two to three different generation of Nickelodeon fans. My personal gripe comes from certain series being left out again. They could have given us 54 characters instead. Now, at this moment, not much information is going around and the game is scheduled to drop October 6, 2020 for 40 US dollars. For that price range, I can't see them going much harder than they did for the 2018 version. Characters like Timmy Turner, Jenny Wakeman, and even Doug are missing from this all-star lineup. I personally would have loved to see the roster shine from this to this. They could have saved roster space by condensing some of these drivers into double carded races like Mario Double Dash. No reason for all four members of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to have their own car. And they have the nerd to add Shredder. I like what I saw in the one minute trailer. I hope Game Mill Entertainment and whoever the developer happens to be is taking this game seriously. This could be a breath of fresh air and it's about time Nicktoons get a good crossover. 
anyway, if you stuck around to the end of the video, I appreciate you sticking around for this one-off video. I would like to make more videos like this in the future. Down in the comment section below, what is your favorite Nicktoon and why? As always, I'm Enigma, signing off. Peace, guys.